So we'll start from in and go out. Um, it's 2021, or is the fall of 2021, going into 22 for the breeding season. Uh, this is Share Country X Pirate. He is just catching my ladies that may have come back into heat. <laughs> that is Yellow Boots B or BP Honeybee. Yeah, you're afraid of my phone of all things. Absolutely afraid. She is a first freshener, so very excited to see how her utter development comes along. You're okay, Dolly. She's like, look at you. You're recording me. It's horrifying. Anyway, it sounds like we might not have LAs available to our area this year, so I'm kind of depressed about that. Might take two years to get you a praise, little girl. Next one, we have Kalua. She is also a first freshener. She is Islands Edge CCQ Kalua Quinn. I don't know why it was so hard for me to remember that just now. She is heavily moon spotted. Kalua. She is a first freshener as well. Super <laughs> excited to see this little girl's utter. She is gorgeous. A gorgeous girl. Yeah, everybody's so wooly. Look at you. Uh, we did ultrasounds yesterday, and it looked like she only had a single. B looked like she had twins, potentially. This is the Malia's Hope. She is she was born here, but she was not bred here. Um, <laughs> she came with her mama, or her mama came with her in tow. Anyway, um, she will be a second freshener. She earned her Milk Star this year. She is at, I think, currently 840 pounds. Um, and she's almost done. I think next test will be her next or her last test. Yeah. Then this is um, equanimity. I can't even say it. <laughs> um, Miss Lorraine. She's always got this face. Look at this face. Her teeth. Dirt. She is pulled, moon spotted. She is a thousand pound milker um, year after year, which is nice. She was appraised um, plus EVV87, and she also has her milk star. Very excited. She always has quads. So um, on the scan, we could only see two for sure, but they were all midline, so it was really hard to tell. And then, let's see. This is Sheer Country Sunflower, TMJ Sunflower. She will be a fourth freshener i'm trying to think fourth or yeah fourth freshener this year she is one of our top milking does she is currently i believe at 1400 pounds um and she's only got i want to say about 50 days left in test so she's doing great um she was appraised veee -E -E 90 absolutely gorgeous doe easy to milk wonderful um, her kids are fast growers, which is excellent. And then we have Aubrey's Acres PH Blue, or not Blue Bell, well, that's her mom. Um, Bella Donna is what I mean. Um, she had triplets last year as a first, or this year as a first freshener. Um, she was appraised plus VVV85 as a first freshener here. She earned her milk stars. She might just be short on the volume portion of that. So uh, we'll see. She is literally at 574 right now, and she still has 45 days to make up those last few pounds, but it'll be a squeeze. <laughs> anyway, on the scan, she looked to carry at least two. So that's nice. Harriet, uh, she is a pet goat. <laughs> She so far has recycled three times, so I am thinking she probably has cysts or she's too fat. And we may not see anything out of her. She would be a first freshener if she did. Ooh, somebody ran into me. She's pulled, blue-eyed, and has waddles. And she's just she's just a goofy goat. Let's see. This is Coco. She just came to us this summer. This will be her sixth freshening, fifth or sixth. Um, she easily earned her milk stars. We got her at 170 days in milk, and she pulled it off easily. She's still, I'm trying to dry her off. She's been 
not milked for two weeks and that udder is still plumb full. Not hot, not red. She's like, don't you look at me. We need a dose of copper. Um, she looks to be carrying one. She has not been appraised yet. But yeah, super excited this year. She has a really nice tight to the body udder. I'm gonna try to sneak around you here without making you run away here. We have not touched this udder for two weeks now and it's finally starting to absorb. So very lovely, very, very lovely girl. Woo, hello, Bella. Yeah, just very lovely. Very deep body girl. She has a nice brisket when she's not standing funny. Coco. Very excited to get her appraised, but it might be a couple years. At the back of the barn, we have Grandmama on the left here, the cream dough. I was hoping to have her bread one last time, although she is, she's gonna be 12. So she is Grandmama. She's looking fantastic. This last summer, she was appraised for the second time in her life and she scored a VEEE 90. Um, she earned her milk star this summer. Yeah. So that is wonderful news. She's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, has a wonderful udder. I don't know if she'll let me sneak in here. <laughs> I have, I got a milk here pretty soon, but just wonderful, wonderful shaped udder with beautiful medial, beautiful teeth. Just wonderful. This is also her daughter from a few years ago. It's Cavatina. She is sheer country. Let me see. This was sheer country SH Aria. And this is sheer country, um, or sheer country TMJ Cavatina. She would be a 2M doe and she was appraised VEVE -E 88. Absolutely gorgeous udder on this girl. <laughs> yeah. And she is almost done. She will have put in a thousand pounds this year, I believe, on her third freshening. So she usually has triplets, quads. So far on the scan, we were only able to see two for sure. So very excited to see how she does. Let's see. This is Madeline, who has pooples stuck to her leg. Boop! Um... Sugar Moon BL Madeline, she is probably our best bread dough, also our heaviest milker. She is projected to milk 1,700 pounds. She's two months behind the other girls, so she's still going pretty strong. Um, yeah. She's a wonderful dough, lots of capacity, absolutely gorgeous. She appraised out VEEE -E -E 90. Um, she is a five star doe. Yeah, last year, this last summer, she had triplets. I am hoping she will surprise us again, otherwise, she usually has singles or twins. Um, yeah, she just literally two days ago was bred by pirates, so hopefully. And that is the girls on this side, I believe. 